What is up guys and welcome back to another Manchester United career mode video. Okay, it's a new week of videos. I'm feeling a lot better. I still have a bit of COVID complaints, but I feel like I should be back to full strength soon. Now let's see what our next match will be. I believe it'll be a Premier League match. Yep, it'll be against Watford. Now with 10 matches to go in the Premier League, we're still three points ahead of City and City has played two more matches than us. So it's looking really good for us. And with Watford all the way 19th, I feel like we can uh, simulate this match and hopefully get an easy win. Let's see, quick sim, here we go. 2-2, oh it's a draw. Wow, oh, Ronaldo and Nunez scored. Ronaldo's even missed a penalty. Okay, so we only get one point against Watford. Did not expect that. Okay, Shaw's happy that he's back in the lineup. Okay, good job. Okay, so the next match will be against Leicester. Let's not simulate that one. Let's just play that one. Okay, first we're gonna set up the squad. Let's start Cavani and Rashford, as well as Ronaldo in front. Let's start Bruno instead of Pogba. And let's start Shaw on the left flank and Pavar on the right flank. And let's give Farman some rest. And we can play Lindelof there. Okay, let's play like this. He's accustomed to this. All eyes on Cristiano Ronaldo in the warm-up. Three goals in three games, and you can't argue with that. We're live on EA TV. Well, it's a beautiful day for football. No complaints whatsoever on that front here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester United against Leicester City. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Yuri Tiedemanns plays alongside Wilfred in deep. Ronaldo! And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. And there's the delivery. Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Well, a short corner here. That's not a bad ball. Clears it away. Well, we're at the business end of the season now. And when you look at the top of the table, still unclear who's going to take the title. One thing you can guarantee, though, is you can watch it all unfold live here on EA TV. Well, you certainly know who pays your wages, Derek. But I think everybody can see this is going to be a great finale to the season. Which team will keep grinding out the results? It's going to be very exciting. It didn't go according to the Manchester United script in the last game. A draw against Watford. How might this play out, Stuart? Well, I think that tall draw at home was a fair result. Today, though, if they play with a bit more purpose from the start, I think they'll win this one. The possibilities inside the box. Tielemans chance here and there it is 1-0 the efforts have been rewarded and look at the celebrations well here it is again the build-up is so patient they're just waiting to play that killer pass at the right time and the finish is clinical it just makes it look so easy doesn't it So United restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they come up with an equaliser? Ronaldo. And he takes it on. And denied by the keeper. Impressive.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? De Ligt. Now with Rashford. Bruno Fernandes. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Harvey Barnes. Ottavio now. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. And a throw in forthcoming. Chance to cross. Just the challenge that was required. Breaking at pace. Oh, good play this. And Edinson Cavani's in position at the far post. And will it be the leveller? High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high, you're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. Cavani oh he could be in trouble well only a yellow card but was there a case for a red one Stuart well maybe so I think he's got a bit lucky there I think he stopped a clear goal scoring opportunity for technique but just wide well he struck the ball so cleanly didn't he that was such a good effort let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch side man Jeff Shreves oh horrible injury to his shoulder there landed right on top of it sore but he's tough and I think he'll carry on cheers Jeff Marcus Rashford. Cristiano Ronaldo. Leicester moving the ball with purpose. Ottavio. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Pavard. Three minutes of stoppage time added on here. And play halted, free kick given. There to win it back. Frankie de Jong. Pavard. Cavani. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. And high marks for Jamie Vardy based on what we saw in the first 45. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. So back in business, Leicester with the lead, but this game far from being done and dusted. Cristiano Ronaldo. On to De Jong. Shaw. Has a go. Oh, a superb save. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise.
Playing it in. It didn't happen for them. Scott McTominay. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Now, let us point you in the direction of the Europa League quarter-final first leg. The game is live on EA TV. It's Leicester City against Barcelona. Well, what a first leg that should be. It will be a tense tactical battle, but certainly an intriguing matchup. Well, don't forget we have the decisive second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final coming up for you live on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Manchester City. Well, that has the makings of an absolute classic between two... Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Vital intervention. Well, the stats show us that Leicester just haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. So a half an hour remaining. United have it once again. Ndidi. Here's Tielemans. Excellent defending. Is it going to be? So Leicester looking to press home their advantage. Well, they've decided to make a change. Number 10, James Madison, to be replaced by number 17, Aloys Perez. Who can they pick out? Poor execution with regard to the corner. He's given us away. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Cavani coming off second best in the passing department. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Well, just listen to these United fans. They're certainly driving their team forward here. Could play it in, and a no-nonsense clearance. Well, the second half is drawing to a close, and the story is an imperfect one for United, Stuart. Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. On Bonner. Here's Tielemans. Otavio, Justin. Using his physical strength to shield it, moving it forward, but really sticking to the task defensively. And they've won the ball back following that challenge. Manchester United know they've got to get on the front foot with time the enemy. Ronaldo wasteful in possession, not really like him. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Taking care of business defensively here. 
The referee's whistle for full time, and here's the big story. No points at all for Manchester United. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. And it surely was a dominant performance from Jamie Vardy. Stuart, what caught your eye in particular? Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal. OK, now that was a very frustrating match. We didn't score any points and now City are closer to us in the standings. We really need to watch out. We don't have this happen more often. OK, now Donny's come to talk to us. He's happy with the chances he's been given to play, so that's good. And Bruno is not too happy. He feels like uh, we were trying to send some sort of message. Taking me off early in the game, no, that's not true. He was subbed off in the first half because he was injured and I didn't want to risk making the injury any worse. So I had to make the decision. Okay, so the next match will be their first leg of the quarterfinals in the Champions League against Madrid. Okay, so let us set up the squad for the match. Now Ronaldo's quite tired, so I think we need to bench him. So let's play Sancho on the right flank and Rashford on the left flank. And we can always bring in Ronaldo in the second half. Let's start Nunez because he's fully rested. And let's also start Donny instead of De Jong because he's fully rested as well. Now it's the Champions League, so we're playing Onana. And I'm switching my left and right back out again. So they all have some playing time. And I'm bringing Varane back on instead of Lindelof. Okay, let's play like this. This ought to be a game not just appealing to fans of the respective sides, but also to neutrals. Two of the best teams in Europe up against each other. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to one of the most recognisable venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson and we've got quarter-final first leg action from the UEFA Champions League coming right up. It's Real Madrid versus Manchester United. Well we're now down to the last eight and they're all very good teams. This game here should be high on quality, full of drama and a great spectacle. Let's hope I'm right. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. And stuffing out the danger. Karim Benzema. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Really good interception. Karim Benzema. Tony Kors. Kors. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Diogo Dallo. Well, he keeps going. Learns to win it back. Karim Benzema. delivering that deep cross chance maybe corner given to Real Madrid well they fancy a short one and disappointing but it's gone out of play
Nunez. Encouraging stuff from United. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Lucas Vasquez. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Marcus Rashford. Just cutting off the supply. Well, finally, it goes out of play, and the pressure was there from the start. Donny van der Beek. And that was a very fine read. Tony Kors. Benzema. Still passing it around with authority. And possession given away. And breaking at pace with Menace. And he fire it towards goal. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. And played short. Delivering it into the box. No nonsense clearance. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Casemiro. This is Kroos. Getting in there to take it away. There will be one minute added on at the end. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. Well, we often place the focus of attention on Karim Benzema. Might he be a bit disappointed so far, Stuart? Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. And so they kick off the second half in this Champions League quarter-final first leg. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card. Ronaldo, a real opening now. Oh, and Ronaldo has scored. The first goal will give them such a lift. Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. underway can Real find a response now <laughs> Scott McTominay Diogo Dallo on the ball and that pass could be troublesome and they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Substitution for Real Madrid.
Playing advantage here. United keep it. And he's in. He went for placement, but not to be. Well, that's a big miss. 1v1 against the keeper, and he's missed the target. Tony Kroos an important interception 30 minutes left for play can they trouble the opposition this time still trailing but they're upping the pressure Tony Kroos Eduardo Camavinga this is Kroos well let's call it a meaty effort but certainly not accurate enough. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Bruno Fernandes and it's a quality pass and that came off the defender so it'll be a corner Played over. Well, quite simply, not precise enough from that position. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Ronaldo. Alex Tellez has it. He made it look simple, really. Valverde. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Federico Valverde. Azar ready to take it on. Not messing around with that clearance. Mendy. Spot on with that tackle. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. This could be it! And that's a high-quality stop. Well, it may not count for anything, but that was a great save, wasn't it? And United will switch things around personnel-wise. And there's the delivery. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Body on the line. Benzema. Azar on the ball. Tony Kroos. Eduardo Camavinga. This is Kroos. Mendy. Azar. A delivery towards the back post. Still a chance. But offside is the decision here. The flag is up. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches.
The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Jadon Sancho. Donny van der Beek. Nunez. Played into the centre. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Full time then, and it's advantage Manchester United after this first leg. Yeah, they just about edged it for me. But if the first 90 minutes is anything to go by, this tie is far from over. Really looking forward to round two now, Derek. Okay, so we've got a 1-0 lead going into the second leg. That's a good thing. Well, there's a reason why we're highlighting Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been very creative out there, Stuart. So I hope you like this video, guys. I'll be back on Friday with the next episode. And I'll see you then. See you later, guys.